Hey Gooch, you know what we get to do today? Go hunt. We get to go hunting today, but let's go boys. Wouldn't want to be walking around in the dark and go off in that. That'd be a bad day. Shoot, I must have missed it. Did he just go down? That's all I'm still on. Okay. Aaron, I'm not so sure you didn't hit the ground. What? <coughs> I'm not so sure you didn't just hit the ground. I could be wrong, but it was such a Enough. We gotta take care of this one. <laughs> that was nuts. It came right. We we're walking right through here. And it rained last night, so it's super, super quiet. And we just ran into a bunch of pigs, a couple hundred yards back there. At least that's what we thought they were when they took off. They were shuffling like that. So we were slipping up this thing real quiet. We got to the edge and we thought we could hear pigs over here. And I took another step and a couple of does bounded up out of that bottom. 
and they've been up on that ridge blowing at us, but then I could still hear something walking around and crept over the top and then here he came. Let's get primed up and go down here and see if we got any blood. I think I might, I probably missed him by the way he was acting. see any past this point but I mean he went right across right in here somewhere It's slick, dude. It's real slick. Be careful. Yeah, nice, yes, dude. dude. We got a pig. Uh, Big pig. Yes. Pork chops, baby. Yeah, man. Yeah. Big old pig, dude. Yeah. Holy oh, cow. <gasps> Look how fat that thing is. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nice, Aaron. <laughs> it's a big sow, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that thing's awesome, man. <laughs> right there. It's right, that's right where I was aiming. I mean, yeah. I just awesome. figured he would have anchored it, but the thing took off. It's like, what the heck? Ran <laughs> off like it wasn't even phased. These things are tough, dude. Huh. Yeah. I thought I did miss. Nope. Nope. Not today, Aaron said. <laughs> this thing is huge, the dude. The size of that thing. <laughs> Nuts. Wonder how many uh, little piglets that thing's had. One too many. Probably, I would probably dozens. That. Probably <laughs> dozens in its lifetime. I would say. Bring really, home the bacon. <laughs> bring it home the bacon. I don't even know that we properly even introduce this video as to what it is that we're no. doing. We came in, we killed a buck yesterday here in Georgia mountains and uh, talked to the local guys up at the check station yesterday. They're going to be pumped when we bring They're going to be time. real pumped <laughs> um, and got a bunch of good info from them. Not like specific areas to go, but they just gave us like more information about how deer use these mountains and stuff. And we've been learning as we, we go, we've been really close. Obviously we got that buck yesterday. From what they told us, we got back to camp last night and we decided just to come into a brand new area that we haven't been into before. Walked like half mile back here down this road and 
anchor to before pig. It, yeah, <laughs> anchor to pig. <laughs> <laughs> but when that muzzle loader goes off, it's just poof of smoke. Once we watched the second angle on my camera, since I was filming wide, and I could see that his muzzle had cleared the terrain, yeah, then no he knew that he didn't pile dirt. I was like, there's a pretty good chance. Like, even at that distance, you know, 30 yards with that big hole, you can get through some brush with that. Well, I don't know if you'll hear it in the footage, but this is right where I was like, did he go down? And Greg's like, I think he kept running. I mean, it even took it a while to get up out of that little bowl right yeah. there and come up on the road. <laughs> that pig just made it, oh, 150 yards Yeah. with a double lung perfect hit shot. perfect shot we got away that thing I don't, yeah i don't know <laughs> we got to figure out how the heck we're going to get it out of here <laughs> oh my god did it go through the other side i'm assuming it did but i don't know let's see mm. i don't know probably under the hide Probably. They're tough, dude. <laughs> They're so tough. Okay, here we go. That'll work. Nice. Those iPhone photos are pretty crazy. <laughs> it's gonna be the weirdest video. Like, just hop out of the truck. <laughs> Three of us walk down there. We're hearing stuff the whole time, and it's just like, right here, right here, right here, pig gets blasted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, as soon as I saw it, I was shooting it. I know that. <laughs> Pow! Craziness. Pig down. Yep, we're gonna go find some gear now. Let's go. We're gonna go back here a little bit further. It's supposed to get fairly warm today, but not until around noon or so. So this pig will be fine for a while. We're gonna end up quartering it up later and then packing it out here, but we're close to three quarters of a mile back here right now. So we're gonna scout in a little bit deeper, see if we can find some deer for tonight or tomorrow morning time, maybe even shoot a deer. Yeah, it'd be great if we shot one. <laughs> and then we're gonna come back here and quarter this pig up and pack it out. <laughs> it's a good day. It's a good day. That's why they're so tough. That's one layer of fat, half inch thick. Oh my word, Mr. Gooch. This is some good looking pork. And that's wild pig in there. Definitely heavier than the deer. Yeah, I Get him up to the check station and show the boys. Look at there, they got all their skulls out boiling. Yeah, that's a big old buck. So how'd y'all do this morning? We got a pig. Did you? Uh, yeah. There you go. Big one. Size. I don't know, it looks freaking huge to me. Yeah. But I haven't seen very many pigs. Yeah. yeah. So. Would y'all pack it out again? Yeah. Did you? Oh, yeah. That's a little tougher than the deer, huh? Uh, a little heavier. How much y'all think, what, it's close to 200 or not quite? I was thinking 150. 150. I'd say probably 150. That was okay. my guess. Judging by the pack weight. If it smelled good when you cleaned it, it'll probably be fine. <laughs> when we first started, we tried to eat them. <laughs> just, they're okay. Gucci, look a little down. I. I was pumped about eating it. Hey, but the grill's hot. You can throw it on the grill right I now. Throw <laughs> you a strap on there and see. We got some bomb braised ones. We got some seasoning, yeah. You can compare it to our pork chop. <laughs> Store bought. It's time to hit the woods. You ready? I'm ready. Start walking again. Boy, the leaves are gonna be wet. It's gonna be quiet. We're gonna have a little bit of wind today. We're just gonna creep right up on them suckers. 
you won't have to stop every five steps because you won't be able to hear them. Yeah. You know why I do that, don't you? To listen. Yeah. God, it's just... It's annoying, I know. <laughs> yeah. Like when you're still hunting and you stop and are standing <laughs> in a spot for a while people. and you're it's watching. It's like a constant train of people stopping yeah. and going. It's like red light, green light. Well, if you're standing <laughs> and you're watching a, a spot and you don't see anything and then you decide that you're going to move, like that's when you're going to spook something that you might not have seen. You know True. what I mean? So if you take a few steps, that's when it's going to run off. Yeah, no, I completely understand why. It's just like, by the time I realize that you're moving, I start moving. Then Greg realizes that I'm moving. He starts <laughs> moving, and you stop again. So then I have to stop. I realize that you stop, so then I stop. Then Greg stops. Then at that point, you start again, and then I... It's just like... It's just a lot. <laughs> today will be better. Yeah, today. Uh, yeah. I don't know what else to do. I, these things are they're so spaced out in here that we tried sitting. I mean, we sat the first morning, we sat the first evening, we sat the second morning, we sat the second evening and saw zero deer. And every time we see deer, we're moving. I'll give it to the Georgia boys. I think, I mean, I haven't been to a lot of the places, but this is definitely difficult. We found some really good rut spots where bucks you know obviously cruising that spot we were at last night there were six or seven trails coming through there good amount of rubs several scrapes but they were all at least two weeks old bucks were probably using that a lot but and there's so much habitat down here everywhere that they have no limiting factor where they're pinched into one little spot at least not that we found Zach and Keith rolled in about midnight last night and they're still asleep in the truck they're just like crammed in there up against their cooler in the back. It was raining at seven, right at daylight, so we slept in a little bit, and wind's supposed to pick up on the back end of this, and the cold front's supposed to come through, so. Uh-oh, I some hear somebody rumble. stirring around in there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I, didn't, I wasn't setting up a tent last night. Welcome to Georgia, Keith. Yeah, I hear you guys had some success pretty quick. Yeah, well, it's been a pretty fun trip so far. If you're if you're ready to shoot something, as far as that's pigs or pretty much any deer goes, I'm, I'm <laughs> looking forward to. You'll be in good shape. My standards aren't anything too crazy. So. <laughs> that's a good thing, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Keith's just wedged in there in between. Better let him get his wits about him first here. Yep. Did you get wet or not? No. See? Those, um, little, those little tents are pretty slick. By the time we stopped and... I got to turn around at some point. <laughs> Work? Yeah, you're here now. The tent? Open. The tent? No, the truck. Uh, the back of the truck. Oh, shoot. No, we need to close that. Thanks, Keith. <laughs> Thinger's about to get pretty fired up. Get his daily dose of the Joe. 